Dear colleagues, uh, the next item on our agenda is the report on local elections observed by the Congress in the Netherlands. These elections were held earlier this year on 19 of March. You may know that this was the first ever observation of local elections in the Netherlands by the Congress and it's, this regards a good example of our policy which says that in principle observation of local and regional elections shall not be limited to certain countries. This is relevant actions with regards to the entire family of Council of Europe member states and the Congress will always consider invitations by member countries and decide to organize an observation mission pending on the given situation. And I know we're pleased to invite the rapporteur, Mrs. Pedregana from Switzerland, to take the floor for 10 minutes. The floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. President. Dear colleagues, first of all, I would like to thank my colleagues of the observation team and Renate Zickmund for the perfect preparation of our mission. It is a great pleasure for me to present to you today the draft report and the recommendations following the observation mission to the Netherlands, where the Congress observed the municipal elections held on 19 March 2014. Considering the date of these elections, I should li like to underline that usually the report of c the Congress are published in a timely manner. In this case, the elections took place only a few days prior to the spring session of the Congress. This is why you are invited to adopt the report and the recommendations of, on the Netherlands only today, seven months after the E-Day. Since this was the first ever observation of local elections in the Netherlands by the Congress, most naturally this mission was attended with great expectations on all sides. Contrary to what may have been imagined, there was great interest among the Congress members in this mission, resulting in almost 40 applications, almost 40 applications. Eventually, the delegation was made up of 13 members from 12 European countries. In this case, without participation of, of the colleagues from the EU Committee of the Regions, since the Committee's poli policy does not foresee election observations in European Union member states. Our overall impression of the election day was a very positive one. We were impressed by the openness, the transparency and the inclusiveness of the electoral process in the Netherlands. The staff in charge of the electoral management were, to a great extent, experienced and well-trained and showed a high level of personal dedication and democratic commitment. We also noticed a general pragmatic approach towards electoral management in the Netherlands, and this is well embedded in the overall social cultural setup and tradition of the country. Let me add that this was of particular interest for several members of our delegation, perhaps in particular for those coming from emerging democracies. And this was exactly the added value of this mission to exchange good practices and to learn from each other using the example of a full-fledged democracy, in this case, the Netherlands. Strikingly, a high number of parties were competing in these elections, more than 1,000, among them many single-issue parties or lists. In 375 municipalities out of 380, local political parties took part. It might be argued that this may lead to fragmentation of the democ democratic process, for sure, it has led to huge ballot papers on 19 March. In any event, this has to do with low threshold for the creation of political parties in the Netherlands and thus with a tradition which makes it easy to run in elections. Another feature of the electoral pra practice in the Netherlands is the long-established system of proxy voting. A proxy may vote on behalf of up to two other people, 
The Congress delegation is aware that approximately 10% of the votes are cast by proxy and that Netherlands is characterized as a high-trust society. Nevertheless, interlocutors made the delegation aware of a small amount of possible misuse and there were media reports about this issue. Vote buying so far has not been an issue in the Netherlands. Let me focus on the most important items of the Congress recommendation following our meetings with representatives of ministries, electoral bodies and candidates in Amsterdam and The Hague and further to the concrete observations made on polling day. We understood that the Dutch authorities are in the act of conce conceiving legislation in regard to party and campaign financing. Since financing of parties is one of the hot issues in many countries, particularly in the electoral context, the Congress delegation recommends pursuing this course, taking in view of adopting such regulations as soon as possible. The policy for an improvement of the counting procedures should be also followed up, in particular in view of the introduction of a secure system of electronic vote counting. I was informed that on the occasion of the European elections on 25 May, there was some improvement noticeable during the counting. Nonetheless, we believe that the Netherlands should also examine possibilities to implement legal provision for the recount of votes in order to exhaust all possibilities to further professionalize the system. I, I am personally very interested in this question and can provide information about the way in which this problem was addressed in my own district in Switzerland. Last but not least, we encourage the Dutch authorities to develop a strategy to minimize the risk of fraud with regard to the traditional system of proxy voting and to consider for this purpose the testing of early voting by mail as an alternative system. In general, the Congress is going to follow with great interest the ongoing consultations in the country of the reintroduction of a secure system of electronic voting by ballot printers and e-counting by scanners, as well as the introduction of voting on the Internet. At the same time, we acknowledge that all this cannot be considered a high pro priority due to the, to the ongoing economic crisis and budget constraints. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Mr. Pedroniana. And um, I now open the debate and I call uh, Mr. Wienen from the Netherlands, three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, dear Ms. Pedagnana, first of all, I should like to congratulate you to this interesting report following an observation mission to a Council of Europe member country belonging to the so-called Western Democratic Hemisphere. The report is of particular interest not only because you observed local elections in my home country, the Netherlands, which allows me to look at the electoral management for which I am usually in charge as a mayor from a different angle. But I also welcome this initiative because it shows that the Congress is willing to observe local and regional elections throughout Europe, provided the authorities of the country are interested in such an observation and extend the necessary invitation. Um, well, my question uh, to you concerns the vote counting in the March local elections, which you qualify in your report as partially cumbersome. The recommendation includes a point on improving counting procedures and introducing the legal provision for the recount of the votes. Uh, could you specify how such a provision could look like in practice? Thank you, and now I give the floor to Mr. Vermisham from United Kingdom. Three minutes. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, dear Pearl, 
voting by proxy can be a convenient way of voting for those who are unable to get to the polling station on election day. Apart from this, appointing someone you trust to vote on your behalf is a traditional form of voting in several countries, including my own country, the United Kingdom. In England and in Wales, and for the first time on the 19th of September 2014 in Scotland, only electors who are registered individually are entitled to apply to vote by proxy. Also, the proxy needs to be registered individually. In order to minimise the risk of fraud with regard to proxy voting, which is also a long-established system in the Netherlands, you recommended considering testing early voting by post. Do you think that individual registration of electors and proxies could also increase the security of the vote? Thank you. Thank you. And that concludes the list of speakers. And um, the rapporteur, do you wish to reply? Yes. Thank yes. you. Dear Jos, thank you for evaluating our report and for your interest in legal regulations for the recounting. A legal provision for the recount of the votes is one way to strengthen democracy. It should not be up to an electoral committee or an electoral council to decide if the result is accepted or if the staff of a polling station has to recount. In my country, several districts or cantons as we call it, um, have different regulations on counting and recounting. In the canton of Zurich, for example, we have to recount when the difference between the elected and the not elected person is less than 0.8% of the votes. If you are interested, I can provide you with more details on these regulations later. And dear John, it is a fact that the authorities in a lot of democracies are concerned about the low rate of participation of voting. In the Netherlands, we learned that not voting is about five times as likely as voting by proxy. To have a high rate of participation, voting has to be convenient. Proxy voting is one possibility to make voting convenient. So it has to be as easy as possible. And you are right, John, the individual registration of electors and proxies does increase the security of the vote. Um, I make the example of Switzerland. In my country, we have to vote on all kinds of things um, about four times a year. And in this kind of democracy, as you can imagine, voting has to be especially easy to handle if you want to have the voters to vote four times a year. So most voters nowadays use the possibility to vote by post in Switzerland. Early voting by post is easy to handle and you can prevent fraud as in any other way of voting in the same amount. And I suggest that one, prove, one um, checks if voting, early voting by post could be introduced. Thank you. Mr. Moulin, as chair of the monitoring committee, do you wish to reply to the debate? Uh, Mr. President, I don't have anything to add. I recommend that we approve the report and the recommendations. Thank you for that. And we now come to the consideration of the draft recommendation contained in document CPL 27. And there has been no amendment tabled and we will now put the draft recommendation to the vote. A third majority is required to adopt the recommendation. And the vote is now open for 15 seconds. The vote is now closed. 458 against 1 2 abstentions
The draft recommendation in document CPL 27 is adopted. And I want to thank the rapporteur, Mrs. Pedrignani, for the hard work with this uh, mission. Thank you very much.